men's grooming is blowing up. And while nearly 40% of your clientele are men if you're a cosmetologist, it's an even higher percentage for barbers. Ask yourself, are you proficient at giving world-class straight razor shaves? Shaves that make your clients say, wow? Are you proficient at men's razor haircuts that add texture and create more soft, fluid lines? On February 24th, Jatai Academy will be holding a men's grooming day. The first class will be the $500 shave class, where it's not about charging $500 for a shave, but about giving your clients the experience, like they just got a shave worth $500. This experience can lead to income well over $500 over a client's lifetime if you learn how to earn and keep your client's trust and loyalty. Learn from Henry Franco, a tonsorial artist who has been barbering for over 50 years and has given countless shaves over his lifetime. This class is for barbers, barber students, and cosmetologists in a crossover program. The second class is a men's hair razor cutting class. It's not your father's haircut. Instead, moving away from the traditional shave, this class will teach you techniques of today using the feather styling razor. Shears can often create hard looking cuts as they can leave hair looking heavy with clearly defined layers. But razors can give more movement, texture, soft lines, and more volume in the hair to give a more organic look. Alan Papaleo, an international educator, has been doing razor haircuts for 30 years. He will be teaching this unforgettable class for both barbers and cosmetologists. Expand your knowledge so you can provide more services and become more in demand. Do these things and you will make more money and be more successful in your endeavors. Just visit jataiacademy.eventbrite.com to learn more about how you can attend these classes. But there are limited seats, so sign up now. Jatai Academy. Advancing the art of looking good. Well, uh, I've been going to Franco for years because he's the first barber I've ever met who seemed to really understand what I, my haircut should look like. I've seen other people with good haircuts, um, but I've never had one. I've never had a haircut. I left the shop and thought, this is how I'm supposed to look. The first time I went to Franco, I immediately had that. Now hearing him today, hearing him today sort of give instruction to other people watching, I, I, I get my more insight in what's going on in his mind. Usually when we're at the shop, we're just shooting the crap. And so another, another thing about Franco is, uh, for me, I, there's a little bit of an old-fashioned sense to it, uh, an old-schoolness um, that makes you, I don't know, it just feels like a grown-up, it feels like a grown-up experience. Um, and it's a little bit like, like I, I'm not the kind of guy that would ever go to a spa, but when I go to Franco and he gives me a shave and he, he puts on lotion, stuff, I come away feeling like I think women feel when they go to the spa and, and they get pampered a little bit and they come away feeling as good as they can feel, you know? Um, and that's that's why I keep going back to Franco. I came from Santa Barbara this morning. It was like a three hour drive. But I, I just, Franco had asked me if I would come do this with him. And of course I will, yeah, sure.